Greetings, ladies and mantle gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales, Tales from Outer Space. 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 And as always, I hope that you enjoy Story Double One. Get me the feck out of here. Written by Ryan Tiffic Theory. From Overseer at Psy.ence to Op17 at EA.RTH. Subject Re Get Me the Feck Out of Here. CC Redacted. 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 Dear Zanat, I don't know where you got those addresses, but in future please maintain appropriate communication protocol. Furthermore, you were tasked with discovering how the reason behind Research Site 17's exceptional technological development and did not provide any information towards the goal in your previous, uh, message. Regards, Overseer. From Op 17 at Earth to Overseer at Science. Subject, Riri, can be the feck out of you. CC redacted, redacted, and redacted. Dear Overseer, I did not sign up for this crap. I'm a sociologist, not a, uh, I don't even fucking know. Some voodoo engineer? I already told you, they're fecking machine people. And for the love of all that's holy, get me out of here before they figure me out. This isn't normal. They look normal from space, but when you get down here, they look like people. They're not. They're meat machines. I don't know what freakish path of evolution took to make them, but it's everywhere. The plants, cells, everything organizes in mathematical patterns. The animal followed mathematical patterns. And the people. Everything's about patterns. Even their most abstract art just moves the patterns to your mind with some senseless paragraph-long explanation. They're made out of meat math. Clearly, you didn't understand my last message. They corrupt everything they touch. Even on this godforsaken planet of patterns, they press even more order into it. Their measurements standardize a million years before ours. Their primitive ancestors built massive structures perfectly set to the ratio of 1.61, and the only part they thought was weird was how precise it was, not why it was. They just accepted that 1.61 is good, except... Now they can run it all the way up to 1.618 for even trivial objects. They have an art form called music that uses the interplay between different patterns of vibrations traveling through the air and governs it with freakish logarithmic scale that somehow appeals to them. And not just appeals, they can tell if something deviates by six one hundredths of a full note. Their language, too. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. Every single place I go, they notice the second I break one of their behavioral patterns. Perform a greeting wrong, quiet pause, focused stare, mixed up their word order, which both follows prescribed patterns, and breaks those patterns in prescribed patterns. Quiet paused, focused correction. Struggle with a sequence to gain passage to their mass transit. One of them will notice immediately. They're watching me. All the time. It's all math. All of it. They have equations and algorithms describing the macroscopic to the atomic to the quantum level. You want to know why they beat us? They don't fucking guess. They spin out mathematical proofs before they even physically test them. You guys need to get me out of here. They're on to me. They've noticed. I don't fit the patterns. And they've started asking if I need to go to one of their... Mental health clinics. Please! Zanat. From redacted to op 17 at Earth. Regards, re re re, get me the feck out of here. CC, overseer at science. Redacted, redacted. Mental health clinic? From op 17 at Earth to redacted. Subject, re re re, re re, get me the feck out of here. CC, overseer at science. Redacted, redacted. It's where they reprogram deviant humans. The ones that they can be pulled back into the pattern are released. And the ones that can't are prevented from disrupting it anymore. Seriously, guys, please. I'm freaking the feck out. From redacted to overseer at science. Subject, re 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 Get me the feck out of here. CC op 17 at earth. Redacted, redacted. Pull the agent, double the redundancy cover measures for the monitoring stations. We'll discuss measures to prevent FTL progress. Op 17 at Earth to redacted. Subject re-re, 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 get me the feck. CC, 
Overseer at science, redacted at redacted. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you so much. I, I, I love you. From redacted to op 17 at Earth. Subject re 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 re. Get me the f. CC, overseer at science, redacted, redacted. Who is this? I don't love you, and I'm certainly not getting the feck. Sick people sending emails just to anyone. Don't expect to get away with this. They just wait until the technology boys get this. Head of Intersystems Research, Manzit. From redacted to IT at systems. Subject, re 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 Get me the CC, op 17 at Earth, overseer at science, redacted. Hi, uh, I was just writing to inform you that the spam you let onto the system. Please take care of this. Head to Intersystems Research. Man's it. End of story. Story number two. A Christmas Miracle, written by Rosie013. Myrtna sat in Station's communication console and supped his warm drink in a contemplative boredom. There had been not many travelers passing through the region these last couple of days, and consequently, his job to organize the docking of ships had been uneventful. There were a few, but scheduled supply ships and the occasional lost tourist didn't amount to much to do. He could have blamed it on the time. Most staff new to the role would assume that the early hours of the night ship would naturally be quiet to time or cycle, but no. Ships didn't care about port cycles when arriving. They always ran on ship time. That could be anything, depending on where it last came from. He might even ask his supervisor for more work, something, anything, to dull the boredom. Or not. It wasn't like this kind of quiet happened every day this close to human space. Rector scratched behind his eye stalks distractedly, totally unaware that his nervous tick was blunting his claws on his carapace again. He was reading the latest station report from his sector of the frontier space, dubiously named the Sol Sector. It was more or less the same situation the other eleven stations had reported. It was quiet. Too quiet. The human migrations had died down for the first time in about three hundred cycles, with no warning or explanation. Sure. The humans were a friendly enough bunch, but they had to have a close eye on them at all times, lest they accidentally cause trouble. Or more trouble. Can't have them crashing the galactic market again. No, there was only one thing to be done about it. Rector would compile the report and send it up the chain. Not for the first time, he lamented at how being one of the first lines of defense against human mischief was far, far above his pay grade. The command center was in shambles. General Synap thought to himself as he strode in and surveyed the scene. Junior officers were running back and forth with reports. Technicians sat eyes glued to the stations in concentration. His second, looking like he was already at his third cup of stimulant, despite the fact that he probably responded to the alert at the same time as himself. (sighs) Must be the humans again. His second-in-command situation report only confirmed his worst fears. Nothing else in the entire goddamn galaxy could cause trouble like this newer species. In less than a year since their accidental discovery, they had caused no less than three serious incidents, more than any other first-contact species ever recorded. Humans managed to accidentally kidnap an important ambassadorial aide with military secrets to serve as a ship mascot, they crashed the galactic market with an influx of petroleum plastic products at ludicrously low prices. Synap didn't even want to get started on the latest issue, the introduction of the hue and pastime of uh, graffiti. It had spread like wildfire, and was past becoming the favorite pastime of amateur artists, sexual deviants, and impoverished beings everywhere. Now they had almost entirely retreated to their side of the line in the dark that denoted where civilized space ended and the wild frontier began, quickly and quietly, with no warning of any sort. Just what were these buggers up to? A polite but firm visit to the ambassador would be required. No matter, it would give the fleet time to hastily assemble to counter whatever madness emerged from Sol. Major Denosis stood over the data analyst, 
studiously watching him work instead of paying his full attention to his furiously ranting boss, General Synap. Apparently, the human's ambassador had rebuffed the old general's request for an urgent meeting on grounds that it was Christ Mass, whatever that means. What it did mean for the unfortunate major is that he now had to tolerate an upset boss, while coordinating the staff's efforts to comb through countless intelligence reports, updates, and human propaganda to figure out what was going on. Hopefully, before they needed to call in the reinforcements. Personally, Denosis didn't think that humans deserved the reputation that they were given by the rest of the galaxy. Sure, they were alien as any new misunderstood species could be, and they had experienced some, uh, difficulties with being accepted into the Confederation. But everyone overlooked that most of their weirdness was mostly harmless, maybe even funny if looked at from the right perspective. Additionally, the rapidly expanding Soul Collective had all but stabilized this entire sector of the frontier. It had been at least a hundred cycles since the last reported pirate raid. His musings was interrupted by the analyst scritching his forearm for attention. Had he found something? All eyes hastily skimmed the section of the data slate in front of him. Something. Something festival season. There's some human calendar seer celebration. Earth colored explodes. Christmas! A celebration, a season for giving. The spirit of Christmas is in the togetherness. It's in the thought to which you put into thinking about others. It's a selfless time where we take stock of what's important and become better versions of ourselves. The humans were celebrating each other? Major Denosis quickly called for his boss over, relief clear on his voice as he explained the misunderstanding. The tension drained from the command center. General Synap addressed the room, declaring that the event of false alarm, the Christmas miracle, as the humans might put it. There were a few nervous laughs as people began to pile out and back to bed, or more likely, a stiff drink to ease the stress of the past few hours. Naturally, it fell to the general's trusted second to send out a report following the sector-wide all-clear alert, followed by some well-earned beverages. In his newfound isolation, Denosis chuckled to himself. As far as human surprises go, this was the best one yet. A real gift of some peace and quiet around here for a change. And a whole soul season of it. He might even have to put in for some time off. A somewhat stressed Yurtner sat in a station's communication console and supped his warm drink in nervous anticipation why had they cancelled the newly raised alert? Why did the report say nothing about the humans bettering themselves and coloured explosives in the same paragraph? End of story. The algorithm reckons you should be watching this video next, and I recommend that you should be always watching my video. So, click and click. With energy! And yes, clicking that does help the channel. Thank you very much. I just want to give a quick thanks to the tier 5 patrons and channel members. Alithia, Barky, Feudic Yol, Cam Maxwell, Casper Onholtz, White Band 420, Lord Asprakal, Arcalian, and Oakfield.